Hey guys, I'm Alexandra. Welcome no, back to my... I was like, this sounds weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra. Today I'm gonna be organizing the insides of my cupboards. Guys, these are so embarrassingly messy, but I'm tackling this today. I'm gonna make it look like a Pinterest inspired pantry. That's my goal. And I'm really excited that Skillshare is sponsoring today's video. It's a new year. It's time to get organizing and you might be setting some 2020 goals for yourself, such as getting your house in shape, tackling all those areas like the insides of your cupboards. And I'm so excited to be partnering with Skillshare because so many of you guys ask me, where do I start when it comes to decorating? How do I begin? How did you get into it? Skillshare, which is an online learning community, is such a great start. I love my kitchen so much. It didn't always look this cute and pink. I actually have a full video that goes through the entire process of doing like a mini reno on this kitchen. And if you are sitting at home being like, I wanna do something similar like this mini reno, but don't know where to start, I would highly suggest checking out um, some of Skillshare's interior design courses. Skillshare has thousands of videos, everything on how to use your DSLR camera and become a great photographer, to how to be a really great manager if you are a boss. I wanted to point that out to you guys just to show you how much variety is on Skillshare. Um, one of my favorite courses is by my most favorite designer of all time, Emily Henderson. She's incredible. I was so excited to learn that she has a whole class on styling on Skillshare. She has tips on how to style, you know, things like shelves in your home or your whole space, what things work well together. She's an esteemed designer and you're getting her tips for less than $10 a month, which is incredible. And I actually have a two month free trial period that you can sign up for. The link is in my description box below. So make sure you check that out, get two months free. And then after those two months, you're paying less than $10 a month to be taught by these like esteemed designers, managers, plant care experts, like you name it, they've got it. Let me know in the comments down below what your goals are for 2020 when it comes to decorating your house. What are those spaces that you wanna tackle? Let me know in the comments, maybe I will do a video on it. But for now, let's get organizing. I'm gonna organize you. First things first, I'm taking all the food out of this cupboard. I'm tackling this one first. I find it's really helpful to bring everything out when you're organizing so you can see exactly what you have. This is also a great opportunity for you to see if any food has expired, needs to be thrown away. It's also a great way to see how many jars I'm gonna need. Um, it's just gonna help the overall organizing process. So now I'm gonna organize everything into jars. Now I know you guys have probably heard this tip before, decant your dried goods into glass jars. It looks stunningly beautiful, especially if you have an open shelf in your home, in your kitchen. But I went for something a little different. So these are from Ikea, they're really large, they're a great size, and they have a lid that just pops off. Um, I find with mason jars, it's kind of like that extra step to you know, lift up the lid, get it unlatched. So I really liked these and you can stack these as well. And I just thought the wood top was a bit different. So I'm gonna place these into my cabinet. I'm going to label them and then I'm going to decant all of my dried goods into the jars. So guys, I realized that the inside of my cabinets are really not the most appealing. I didn't wanna paint inside of them when I was making over this kitchen because it was just gonna be so much work and a lot of effort for a rental. Using you know beautiful organization solutions um, inside of this cupboard will just kind of help take away from the fact that they're not looking the best in here. Fingers crossed. I wanna get the placement right first of these jars, make sure they all fit, see how many fit into this cabinet, and then I'm gonna start decanting all of my dried goods into them. So for the labels for these jars, I could have easily used my retro label maker. I've used this a million times, but again, I wanted to do something different. So I actually researched on Etsy um, to see if I could buy like one of a kind labels for pantry organizing. Found so many, and I really wanted to see if I could print them on my own vinyl. So you can get vinyl paper from somewhere like Staples, like kind of like an office supply store, but I didn't want to risk it. I'd read different things about the vinyl, like jamming in the printer. I had a limited amount of time. So instead I found these gorgeous labels that this specific Etsy store does. She sent them to me really quickly. They're beautiful, they're minimal, they're just different. I've never seen anything like them before. I think I'm on the way. 
to a Pinterest worthy kitchen friends. And I'm really excited about it. So now it is time to organize my spices. Now this Etsy seller also has labels for tiny spice jars. So cute, I don't have a ton of spices. Honestly guys, like I really need to get more into cooking. So I know your pantries probably look way more impressive than mine, you probably have all kinds of spices, all kinds of dried goods. I have like a few solid dishes down, but I buy a lot of ingredients fresh. So really this is just for like dried goods, snacks, that kind of thing. Um, and then the few spices that I do have. Guys, this is a good example of why you should organize and purge things, at least like at the beginning of the year, because this baking powder for fluffy muffins expired in September 2018. I love organizing at the beginning of the year because you just purge all of this stuff that has expired and start the new year quite literally fresh. You start fresh. So for all those things like cans or um, things like vinegar and oil, I'm just putting them in a little clear acrylic tray like this one. I find it so great for just corralling like items. Um, so when I need any of these things, I can just pull the tray out and have access to all of the things that I can't decant. If you guys have some fun hacks, I would love to know. Um, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite hack is. Now we're moving on to possibly one of my most favorite cupboards. This is where all of my tea is, my coffee pods, um, my protein powder and my collagen powder, all the stuff I basically drink in the morning. I'm an avid tea drinker. I think it's because I'm British, but I want to, yeah, just make this look a little more, a little more uniform. I also have all of my off season items there. So all of my summer plates for outdoors, paper plates in case I have a lot of people over. And so that needs to find some sort of solution as well. So again, I'm gonna take everything out and then start organizing. When you're organizing your cabinets, I'd also suggest donating anything you haven't used in a while. So I have some mugs that I just never use. I have a lot of mugs. I really want to be intentional with the things that I'm bringing into my home. That includes my, my mugs. I don't wanna just have mugs lying around, not being used. I want everything to be beautiful, pretty, curated. Next up, I'm going to be decanting my protein powders into glass jars, labeling them. These are some of the custom labels that I had the Etsy shop owner make for me. This wasn't in like the, the standard pack, but I use protein powder almost every day. So I wanted to have that labeled. And then I'm gonna find a space for my milk frother, my blender, all of those tools that I need to make smoothies and my lattes. Sounds really fancy. So another drawer in my kitchen that is really embarrassingly messy is my Tupperware drawer. And I know I can't be the only one, especially if you guys have a big family at home, you probably have lots of food containers. A good hack is to use a pot organizer, something that looks like this. I'll link this one down below. You can change where these pegs go. So you can put lids, you can put larger Tupperwares. It just ensures that everything has a place um, and that's super key in a Tupperware drawer. I've also seen people use paper organizers or magazine holders. There's so many fun ways. Give it a Pinterest search. I'm sure you'll find lots of solutions, but I think the solution is going to work for me.
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you were as satisfied watching me organize my cabinet as I feel right now, just looking at all these beautiful jars. As well, a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Just a reminder to use my link down below for two months of a premium membership free so you guys can get creative in the new year and maybe learn a new skill. As well, let me know in the comments down below any organizing hacks you have for your kitchen. I would love to know. I know we all have different kitchens. We all use different food. We all have different needs in a space. Um, this worked for me, but I would love to hear what works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.